Hey, it's Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching, back with another Whiteboard Wednesday. Today, we're tackling the question I got about how to stop foam rolling hurting so much. But before we tackle that question, click the subscribe button over here. I've got a lot of exciting new videos coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. If you click the subscribe button now, you're going to get a direct notification every time I upload a new video so you don't miss out on any of the exciting training, nutrition and other tips that I've cut coming out. So hit that subscribe button now and then let's take a look how to stop foam rolling hurting so much. So how do you stop foam rolling hurting so goddamn much? This is a question that I got from someone who had downloaded and had started doing the Performance Temple Functional Strength Plan. I'll put a link to it so you can go check that out. This plan here um, includes some foam rolling exercises to work on mobility. And the person was just finding them incredibly painful and they want to know how do you make them stop hurting so much. Well, the first way and the best way to stop foam rolling from hurting is don't do it. That'll make it stop in an instant, I can guarantee it. However, that's not going to be very beneficial for your mobility. So what I want to do today is show you that foam rolling needs to hurt or have at least some discomfort associated with it to be effective. So, taking a look over here at your muscle first of all. Now, the, the muscle, human muscle, all muscle, has this layer around it. It's kind of like a second skin almost. So it's between your skin and the muscle. It's a very fine layer. It's called the myofascial layer. And if you've ever cut any meat up, if you've had some chicken or some steak and there's that, you can almost pull that sort of white fibrous uh, layer that's over, over the top of your meat. That there is the myofascia of that particular meat, that muscle. So same thing within your uh, in your body. The, the muscle has this myofascial layer and typically everything moving correctly, the muscle and the myofascial slide. However, sometimes you get micro damage to that myofascial layer. And what happens is the body's healing process comes along and it heals the injured site and lays down a matrix of connective tissue that binds or adheres the myofascial layer to the muscle. So you stop that smooth sliding happening and it gets sort of bound up. So with foam rolling, one of the main sort of ways foam rolling uh, improves mobility is to mechanically break these sites of adhesion down. So rolling on them mechanically breaks the tissue down just like a massage does and then the myofascial layer is able to smoothly slide again. So that's number one. So to get that breakdown happening you have to create quite a lot of tension. The second thing is at the end of your muscles where the tendon joins into the, uh, onto the bone, so where the tendon comes in here and so where the tendon and the muscle join there are these little things called Golgi tendon organs and what they do is they detect stretch and they detect tension. They are a safety mechanism within the muscle that will stop it completely tearing itself under great load. When, you're, when the Golgi tendon organs reach a certain critical level of tension or stretch, they trigger a reflex to relax the muscle. So with our phone rolling, what we're trying to do is develop this tension. One, to cause the breakdown of these adhesions in the myofascial layer. And two, to stimulate the Golgi tendon organs. We stimulate the Golgi tendon organ, we get the muscle to relax. And that there gives us increased mobility. From the breakdown of these adhesions, we decrease that sliding resistance of the myofascial layer. Again, improving our mobility. 
both of these things require this tension to be developed. If we don't develop this tension or have that pressure or that load, then it's not going to do anything through these two pathways. So when you are developing this tension and you're getting that pain, just remember what you're trying to achieve. If you can keep that in your back of your head, hopefully that pain will become a little bit more bearable. So it's not just a foam roller that we can develop tension by, we can also do it with massage or some other toys of torture over here, whether it be a standard like lacrosse ball, hockey ball, tennis ball, or other sort of massage sticks, tiger tails, that sort of thing. Whatever m mode you like to use to develop that tension to cause that mechanical breakdown or that golden tendon organ to relax the muscle entirely over to you. But there you have it, that's why it hurts and hopefully that makes a little more sense so that next time you're foam rolling, you can focus on your perception of that pain. It's not a bad pain, it's a positive pain. It's going to help you in the future to improve your mobility. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this video over here about how to improve your power to weight ratio. Or check out this video over here where I talk about whether you should use music for training or whether that's actually negative to your training. So, if you've got any more questions, keep them coming. I want to keep giving you the good information so you can train harder, but most importantly, train smarter. Get the results you deserve, maximize your training time.